Are we starting? Are we rolling? Are we yes. on? How's my hair? Is my hair cute? You look great. How's mine, Nicole? Am I okay? Well, I'm just a mess. Nicole's right here, Doc. How am I, Brittany? You look great. Thank you. You sure? Because she'll blame you if she does it. Blame me. I'm good. I'm good? I'm good for it. All right. All right, good. So my sister is my guest on my podcast today, which could be good or bad, right? Because... <laughs> Oh, no, nothing bad. Nothing bad could ever. No, your glasses are crooked. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you straighten my glasses for me again, please? Okay. Thank so you. why do you do this to your glasses? Let, let me tell you how. Um, when I'm watching TV, I lay down, oh. and I, I lay down with my glasses, and that's how they end up being bent. Okay. All right. It's right now. Because I need my glasses to see. Hi, Boo. Hi, Angie. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Angie Martinez in Real Life Podcast. First of all, I love you. You know that everybody in the whole world knows I love you. I love you too. Sometimes when you have a friend that you're interviewing, it'd be weird because I know so much things. I don't want to say anything that is off. I'd be like, does everybody know that? Or do I I just know that? But Mm -hmm. lately I find you have been very open in general. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I see you in an interview and I'm like, oh, she told him that? Oh, she said that publicly? Mm-hmm. Is that a conscious thing or is that something that has just happened to you? I, I think it's like I have a lot of things I don't, I don't need to hide yeah. because people want to know, you know, how am I sustaining? How, you know, how is this possible? Right, <laughs> you right, know, right. so there's a lot of things that I don't mind sharing yeah. to show them the steps. Mm. You know, th- it, it wasn't easy. And this is one of the reasons why. Yeah. You know, so it's like it's th- things I don't want people to know. Trust me. They don't know. They will <laughs> never know. <laughs> never. I don't care what they think they know. They will never know the shit that I don't want to know. <laughs> Why is that? Is that is that just it's just too private? It's or embarrassing or it's just something private. you need. It's like a it's like a piece of clothing or underwear. You know, you need that protection. You need some covering somewhere. You just somewhere. can't be running around naked. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think I've been you've been very running around with my bra and my underwear on. <laughs> I don't want to rip <laughs> off my bra and my underwear. <laughs> so I need those things. <laughs> Please keep it <laughs> so, so just to be keep clear, those things I will not reveal, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so the reason I wanted to do this podcast was a couple of things. And as my friend, you know this about me, how much I have changed over the past couple of years due to experience, due to work, the world, the world changing, my own personal experience. And also we're getting older and we're, and we're like, and we've seen a lot and we've lived a lot and done a lot. And I also feel like during COVID, Everybody had to like look at their life in a different way. Did you? 100%. How did that change? Like what did you like I I actually went deeper mm-hmm. with this with the self-love, you know. I started finding myself during, you know, the marriage and the darkness and all of that stuff. But once I was out of the marriage, I I was so angry because of the divorce and the alimony and I was angry for a long time. Mm-hmm. And um once I got over the anger, I started going in and, and, and loving on the child, loving on little Mary, spending more time with her, letting her be a kid, letting her run out in the backyard, you know, drink whatever, eat whatever she wants to eat. And during the pandemic, that's what I did. Like I was by myself a lot um, in my backyard. I drank a lot of wine. I had a lot of- Sun got full. us all day, baby, <laughs> sun got us all day. I was having full conversations, so full conversations with myself. And um, I just learned to just, really get into mm. the deep inner love for myself that's and that's been making me happy like just yeah. just freedom like i saw a picture of myself last night from this event i was at and i was stressed out like that ah! i was like oh shit i'm happy <laughs> look at her she's happy oh i love that I love finally that. you know because i know the steps to, to yeah. continue because it's, it's a you have to continue to do the work. Yeah, it's not to, like one day you become happy yeah, and then you're just happy every day. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't work like that. So that's yeah. what I that's that's where I'm at. Just loving on Mary and I hate to sound selfish, but I am right now. Yes, I just had this conversation yeah. with Brittany in the car today because yeah. Brittany is in her twenties. Mm-hmm. She's my assistant, who she's a producer on this podcast. And I remember in my twenties, I was I you know I was raised to think, oh, we got to be a kind to everyone, we mm-hmm. gotta think about everybody else, we gotta do, it was always, or even my own career, it was like, I wanted to inspire people, I wanted to, everything was like outward going for other people, do things for other people, and I thought that that made me a good person, or being empathetic to people all the time. I thought that made me a good person, mm-hmm. and it might have, mm-hmm. but you get to a point where you're like, I only got a limited time on this earth. How much of that am I willing to give away? 
to everyone else instead mm-hmm. of just waking up and doing what I want to do selfishly right. for myself. Right. And I was like, maybe that sounds selfish of me, but that's kind of where I am. And I'm okay with that. And I've been very mindful of it. This whole reason this podcast happened. I've been very mindful to the fact that we are here for a limited amount of time. Yeah. Just that thought alone. If you wake up every, yeah. if you wake up every day and be like, I'm only have a limited amount of time. That's where I'm at. Yeah. What, so where do you, what do you do with that? Like, how do you live your life differently once you have that realization? You take care of you. Life is important. It's, it's the most amazing, precious gift we're ever going to get. Mm-hmm. Ourselves. And if we don't treat it like that, we can lose our lives. You know, we can spiritually lose our lives. We can just be the walking dead mm-hmm. when we just don't take care of our lives. I, I, you understand what I'm saying? No, t- yeah, but tell me, tell me. I do kind of, but. Okay. Spiritually dead, meaning like you, you know, you've never been in a bad, well, you've never been in a bad relationship. Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Wait, Who are you talking so, to? So, so you're in something that no longer is healthy for you. It's not doing anything for you mentally, spiritually, physically, financially. Oh, you're walking and, dead. And, and you're, you're the walking you're dead. You're the walking dead. You're just yeah. sitting through it for what? Yeah. So you don't want to end up, so we know what that feels like. So we do not, not want to end up like that ever again. Yeah. And that's the work that we're doing to keep from doing that again. To not be the walking dead. To be the walking dead. We want to be the walking it. living. The walking living. <laughs> the living, walking, best version of ourselves at all times. And there's so many people in the world that are doing that and don't even know they're doing it. They're just miserable and going through the motions of not getting anything, just bullshit, getting nothing in return. Or and, chasing. And, or, or, Chasing nothing, yes. waiting for nothing. I've been there too, yeah. you know? And, and now it's just time to want more, want something. Now I want- What do you want? Love, mm. love, but love for me first. Mm-hmm. I found that love. Mm-hmm. The love for Mary, I found it. And I will fuck anybody up that tries to take it away from me <laughs> because it's so real and it's so good and I work for it and I earned it. And I have to keep working on it every single day. Mm-hmm. And it's a job. It's a real job, and it and it hurts like I'm hell. I'm so proud of you, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Because I know where you've, you've been, seen it, and yeah. I know where you come to, and it's not a small thing when you say that. Some people think it's just a soundbite or something. Like you've learned how to love yourself, but it's a real, it's thing. a real deal. My life is my my baby. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't always feel like that, obviously. Oh no, I hated my life. I, 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 I didn't know why. I just hated myself, hated my life, hated the way I look, hated the way I spoke. I, I hear the sound of my voice and be like, ah, oh, that's, oh, that's me. Now it's like, well, I, I need to hear that again. Like, I, it's, 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 it's a miracle. You're into you. It's a miracle. Yeah, you're kind of into so you. Listen, right I'm now. by myself a lot. I be having dates and shit with myself. Like, we going on a date tonight. <laughs> We're going by ourselves. I got you, boo. I got you, boo. We, we, we you know. You've been splurging. We hanging too. out. You've been buying shit. Oh, we going and we buying the biggest chain we can buy. We <laughs> buying all these boots this week. Oh, uh, we going have like it's it's just it's dope. And you know I've never been like this. I used to be shell shocked, scared, scared, scared. I'm scared of myself. Mm-hmm. That's what we. That's what we scared. We scared of ourselves. Mm-hmm. It don't be people. It be the power. Oh shit! Afraid of the power. Afraid of my own power. Mm-hmm. You know that's the case, right? Yes, I do, I do. Another thing that I think that we do, I had I've talked to a couple of people about this is, especially people who have been successful in their careers, like spend a lot of our lives, a lot of, a lot of our lives chasing something. It's like chasing success, chasing money, chasing to get out of a bad situation. Ch- like, do you still feel that do you still feel that energy? Like, are you chasing something still? Nothing. Really? Not a dollar. Not a person. Not, you know, love is tricky mm-hmm. because you can end up chasing and not know you chasing until you be like, whoa, I'm th- I got that feeling again, that nasty feeling of, I, I think I'm gonna lose something. Mm-hmm. Lose that the love you never yourself. had. You, you feel like you might lose the love you have for yourself. Exactly. So mm-hmm. um, I have not, I'm not chasing nothing. It's, it's like when you're not chasing, everything just falls in your lap. Everything's just coming from here, from here. So I'm not chasing success because I've, I've got, I am what I am. I'm who I am for, for the rest of my life. Yeah. So I don't need to be running after a dollar or running to do a show or, or trying to be seen the most. I'm whatever. 
but so <laughs> isn't that a good feeling? It's great. I feel so good. I just feel so good. Oh man, shit. I love that for you. I do. I do. I sometimes have to check myself. I, I think I definitely have slowed the chase down. I think that has been the most uncomfortable mm-hmm. transition for me. Because I was always chasing to be inspired, to be on the next thing, to reinvent, to um just stay relevant, you know, chasing that type of shit. Right. And it took and it took God to sit me down for a little while. For me to be like uncomfortable and can't chase nothing, mm. to be like, okay, I think I'm good, and then I'll, and then it turned to like, I actually think I like not chasing shit and just kind of being and being in the moment and appreciating life and going to sit with my girlfriend and have some drinks and. Do you? you I'm sorry, I mean to cut. No, you off. no, please. You notice that when you get in that place in your life, you look at yourself and you look. Um, amazing to yourself like you look so boss like whatever that you know yeah. you look so because you boss now yeah you boss because I nothing has, I used to think nothing I was has boss. control of you right but we weren't boss because everything had control of us so we always had this look of uh, uh and didn't know it but now we're just like okay all right yeah cool you come in you going so like yeah. for real and that takes work too it's, yeah, yeah. you know it, yeah. what do you think had the biggest control of you I don't want to say it <laughs> I have an idea of two things that came right to my don't mind. Don't you say it. I won't say don't it. Say I won't it. say it. <laughs> don't you fucking say I it. <laughs> you know exactly what I was going to say. Exactly. Y'all probably could guess the two things that I was thinking. What is, oh, man. What is and, one, and those things, yeah. I, that's why I said it's, it's not easy because those things are hard. You know what I'm saying? People are hard. People can have control over you. Yeah. You know, wanting to be loved, wanting to be picked. It's, so you it's think the worst thing. You think love and that type of stuff have more control of you than you chasing your or your career or your passion? Because you, I mean, you you made Mary J. Blige. That's not a small thing. Wanting to be loved. But so you you were never chasing because you are serious about your career. It didn't mm-hmm. just happen. Mm-hmm. It wasn't by accident that you mm-hmm. became this. Mm-hmm. household name like you had to put work into that so of course but do you ever feel like you were chasing that at any point or like i didn't start chasing or until i got married and things were just turned into shit mm. and then it was like okay i gotta figure out a way to get us out of this shithole we in financially financially mm-hmm. then i started being like then it, but from 1991 to then i didn't even know if i was coming or going i was singing for my life i was young i was i didn't care what i was doing i was it wasn't about so you were dollar. never chasing fame no never or just even success no really no because when i when I, I when i got signed I, I signed my contract on a washing machine in the projects right and, like we, it was like we're getting out of here yeah and the only thing to do was just keep singing for my life. And it was about singing. I, I didn't even know if I had money half of the times. Mm-hmm. You know, I was spending so much money. I was just living frivolous and young and ignorant and ghetto and, and dumb. Fr- and, and dumb. free, though. And you were free. Young, Bad decisions. Young, dumb, frivolous, yeah. and, and insecure. Just So really not free then? Because, no, right. just, in, just entrapped with the bondage of stupidity mm. so i didn't i wasn't like oh god i gotta be the hottest puff was like yo you gotta be the hot like puff was always like yo yo yeah and puff is like, driven by that. puff is always driven by success yes. he'd say we've seen him say that multiple times yes like, and he helped me he helped me to have some of that like some drive you know i wasn't lazy i just didn't care about what everybody else cared about like i gotta be the hottest person i just was <laughs> I, I just was, and I didn't even know what I had built or who I was, like what I, what, what I, why can I say, what lane I had opened and who I had become until later, like, oh shit, like, I was young and I was that. And I did that. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't like, I gotta have it. I just, it was, it came with the job. Mm. I had to have a hairstyle. I had to have, so I did, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. it was like I was moving didn't know I was like, I was but it wasn't calculated. Moving. No, it was none of it was. It was just I was just moving. Yeah. What do you think is like? When you look at your life. You look at your career. And in, in the theme of like, you know, our, our time here is limited. 
what are you like most proud about from out of your life? This life right here, just finding myself, just this freedom, this this relaxation, this mm -hmm. not feeling stressed, this not feeling pressed. This is what I'm most proud of. I'm I'm proud of Mary. I'm proud of myself because I've been through hell and some horrible things. And that feeling that I had of inadequacy, not never being enough, not feeling like enough, mm -hmm. it's gone. I am enough. You are. You know, and I have to keep working on it because I was in it so much. It was was it was so much self hatred. Mm. And then the self hatred was so bad it had people hate me more than I hated myself. Mm. So this right here is what I'm most proud. I'm most proud of this, the this version growth, of yourself. This that growth, you. yeah. Mm. I get that. That's good. That's a you got to a yeah. good place. Yeah. I'm I'm good and it's work. Like I said, every single day. You know, therapy is not, it, 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 there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You got to keep working, keep working. Oh, I love it. therapy. I, listen, <laughs> I'm I started like a couple of weeks ago, no, like a month ago. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, well, I'm talking to her again. <laughs> She's dope too. This it's about dope. growth. Yes. It's about growth. It's about evolution. It's about getting to know yourself better and yep. all that. I'm all for that. Do you ever think about death? Sometimes, yeah. And what does that do to you? Like, and what, how well, does that? Well, let me, let me, I had to do my um my life insurance. Like, me, you know, mm. I did get my, finally. Your will and your. Yeah, all that stuff. And yeah. they was asking me all these questions of who you want to bury and all that stuff. I was like, jeez. <laughs> let me, let me deal with that. Let me face that head on. Cause I was, I'm all, I was always afraid, you know, of, of dying, you know, like like a, a death. Like later in my life, when I was young, I was like, oh, you know, fuck it, risk it all, <laughs> jump off the bridge, whatever. But when I got older, mm -hmm. I was like, I, I, I'm afraid, you know, of dying. I'm afraid of how I'm gonna die and all that stuff. And then I had to do that. And then it was like, let me face this shit head on because these questions are crazy. Mm. These questions are, you know, who you want to, who do you want to be the person that's responsible. You know, do you want to donate your organs? And Jesus, so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, it gets real. It's very real. It's the realest thing to talk about ever because it happens to everybody, and we never talk about it. Yeah. And then we're not prepared for it. We're not prepared when it happens to other people. We're not prepared as we get older in life, and then so we don't ever, like you said, let me look at it head on. Head, head for on. most of our lives, we don't. Most of our lives, we look away. We do our best to look away from that. That's what we. That's yeah. that's what I've been doing all damn near all my life, looking away. Mm. and not looking at what, what it really is. And that's when you get on all that trouble with people mm. because you see all the stuff, but then you turn away. Mm. You see the signs, you see the red flags, and then you turn away because you want what you want by any means necessary. Yeah, no, I get that. So what happens when you're answering those questions and you decide, let me look at this? Uh huh. What happens? Like, what do you, how do you feel? Does it change how you feel about it? Does it? It gives you, it empower, I think it's empowering. Mm. It, it makes you strong and like, okay, um, I'm I'm an adult. Mm -hmm. I'm grown. I'm, I'm growing up. This is something I'm moving past, because that was that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. That's a life insurance and I all know. that. Did. I just did all that too, and it yeah. really freaked me out for a second too. But also losing people, like we we've, we've lost a lot of people, and that always shifts you a little bit. And then when mm -hmm. we first lose somebody, it's always like you gotta live your life to the fullest. Yeah, you know, you say that for a week. Yeah, life is short. We gotta blah blah blah, and then you say that for two weeks, mm -hmm. and then we go back to living the same yeah. way we always live. Yeah. So I, then I had that thought of like, well, if we have that notion of like life is short when somebody dies, can we live our whole life knowing that? Living life like life is short. Every, if we could live every day knowing that the shit is not tomorrow is not promised, but not only when something bad happens to somebody, like every day. Right. If we wake up every day. With that understanding of like life is short, then does it change how you operate? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I think I think it it does. But when you say life is short and you gotta live everything, you know, you, you can you can be reckless with it, mm. or you can live your life with value, like for your. That's what we're doing. Yeah, life is short, so you do have to take care of you. And if you take care of you, it, it's, it, it's, it's long. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you live it like life is short, let me just do all the drugs and <laughs> let, let me just do everything yeah. wrong. Yeah. That's, you know, 
this is when you become an adult. Like we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're adults now, so we yeah. can, yeah. And it makes you appreciate, to me, when you think about it that way, it's not doesn't make me want to go be reckless. It makes me want to be right. mindful mm -hmm. and present and grateful. Like if I'm having a great day, if we out, we with our girlfriends in the, we went, what, what was we the other day? We were in our girlfriend's house watching the, one of the, the Oscars. awards, the Oscars. Yeah. That's a whole other conversation. Mm -hmm. We watching the Oscars, <laughs> but I was having a great time. And that, I don't really need much more than that in life. Like, and me too. That's where I yeah. am. You know, that's where I am. Yeah. Like, I'm. If, if if it's not fun, I don't do it. If I if I don't think I'm gonna have fun, I'm not outside. But if mm -hmm. it's with my friends, right? It's, it's a good time. I know what it's gonna be already. Yeah. And you go outside. Yes. Yeah, I'm really happy to be at that place in my life where I don't I, I don't miss that. I feel like for a lot mm. of years I missed it. A lot of years I was chasing shit, running, mm -hmm. running, trying to do things, mm -hmm. and I I miss so many great things that were happening because I wasn't. I didn't just be like, yo, this is really dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this is really dope. That's a great way to live every day. Like, right, like this moment right here. This is great. Like, I love. I mean, phenomenal. I couldn't be. I, am I cursing too much? No, inside? please. This curse, is please. phenomenal. This Thank is you, this. Baby. We look at where we are. We. Look, Angie, look at, I was, I'm so No, crying. tell me, please. Look, look at, remember me when you first met me? Mm -hmm. This is not the same person. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was always strong. You was always, well, to me, you was always my strong sister. Like, I, you was like a rock. Mm -hmm. And I was like, gosh, I, I need her, you know? Because <laughs> I wasn't that, you know? Yeah. But what was amazing to me was to find out that you, you had, wasn't you know as strong to you that you thought yeah yeah that so, i had some yeah <laughs> some struggles I was like, my Angie own. Got, An <laughs> Angie not Angie got today? <laughs> no, Angie. Got yeah. so that this is a blessing yeah. to have come full circle mm -hmm. and i don't feel that need to act strong all the time anymore oh, hell i yeah. used to be like that right i was the yeah. strong friend yeah. so i will always be like I gotta be strong, <laughs> but fuck that. If I don't feel it, I want to be able to say that, and it's cool. Who cares? Like, I, what, what is that? Doesn't. And I love that. Yeah, I love that you're that now. I love that because yeah. I was like, why she's so hard? <laughs> <laughs> why she won't tell? That's what we here for. <laughs> why she don't Cause, say? Because I'll be coming to you like, oh god, <laughs> oh this happened, Angie. This happened, crying and shit, and 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 you be like, you all right? You just gotta do this. You gotta do this. I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> Why? You? I need a, I need a hug. I, I need some. I need sympathy. <laughs> I need you to be on my team right now. You oh, get like, on my level. <laughs> get on my level right now. <laughs> get on my level. No, nah, man. I don't feel the need to do that at all anymore. You feel that? Like I feel like we can. Yeah. And I and I I'm, I'm so grateful for that. Me too. Because that's that's what we're here for. I love and, and that. You need that for sure. <laughs> God will sit your ass down. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I thought I had it all figured out. Are my glasses crooked? No. Have my glasses been crooked? No. no but you just made them crooked. Oh, I did? <laughs> fix it. I fixed it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, I just want to finish that thought. Because I think maybe this will happen again in life, right? So I used to think, I would say maybe like five years ago, I thought I like, got shit figured out. <laughs> I know all the things that I need to know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share with the world. I'm gonna do a talk show. I'm gonna let the world. I'm gonna inspire people with true stories. And then I got sat, and then God sat my ass down and was like, "Bitch, you don't really know everything. You don't got it all together. You need to soften up. You need to be in the moment. All the all the lessons I needed mm -hmm. to to learn to get me to where I am now, which is like a to me a better version than a, of who I was five ten years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I hope five years from now. I'll be an even better version. Do you believe that for yeah, yourself? One hundred percent. You do. I think we just keep elevating it, but we, but, but we keep elevating when we keep going through the pain of, of transition, like of change. Like you, it, there's going to be something to shift you into the next yeah. thing higher. When you don't go higher, you don't move. Yeah. Nothing. Everything Walking just dead. feels like one thing. Walking dead. But when you get ready to shift, that that pain, some kind of trial is coming. Yeah. To, to that you have to feel to get through. And what about to the next age? Thing. Do you think that do you do you attribute that some of that to just age and growing and us being older and wiser and or you think experience more than age? I think experience because if you don't have experience, you can't grow. I don't care how old there you are. There definitely are older right people that have not that, evolved. Yeah, let's not even do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I just wonder why, as young, why we fear age so much. And I don't know mm -hmm. if it's like fear of death, 
or just fear of changing how we look or like what is the fear of age that I, you know, I, I guess um being afraid I, let me see right like yeah. what is that <laughs> I don't know what are we afraid of though? I don't like, know I, I oh I know what it is in in, in our industry mm -hmm. of what people think how they just toss you to the oh okay she's old she's now we're not gonna play she on the washed, radio right. or she's washed up forget this just forget that forget that yeah so fuck that right fuck but, y'all uh, yeah but i become <laughs> like i'm not even i don't give a fuck you like me lump me yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm 50 i'm 51 yeah and and you can buy my music play it or not because i have a fan base mm -hmm. and and you got to just be content with that with content with what you have Mm -hmm. And that and that keeps you growing, and that keeps the whole now that that keeps the youth looking at you as an inspiration, and that's when you become an inspiration when yeah. you can just relax and be content in your thing. And then they still fuck with you, and they fuck with the you. The worst anyway. is when somebody's fighting it so hard that they're not comfortable in their own skin. Oh, that's yeah. it's not good for any age, by the way. No. If you fighting your truth or who you are, where you are in life, like just no age that it's ever fly at. At any age, right? And it's it's it's, it's hard for some no, people because hard. everybody has a different journey. Everybody, everybody don't have the wisdom mm -hmm. that you or I have, or gone through, or or did or wanted to go through mm -hmm. what we went through, or the pain of change. Yeah, you know Ooh, the pain of change. Yeah, that feels like a song title. It's yeah, it is. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it's coming soon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> first on the pod. Do you have a bucket list? Is there something you want to do while you're here on this earth? Anything left? Because you've done a lot of shit. <laughs> well, I definitely don't want to ever jump out of a plane. So, I, yeah. <laughs> by the way, me neither. I don't want to understand never. that. Oh, not really. No, no. Really? I think. What I'm, an amazing thing to be able to say. I mean, I bought every shoe I could buy. Got, you know what I'm saying? There's no bucket list. I mean, I, I thing you want to do before we're not here anymore. I don't know. I can't. I can't mm. answer that right now. If you had to say one thing about what your purpose is, because it's probably changed. Like I used to think my purpose was one thing, and mm -hmm. I think it probably evolves, and it may continue to evolve. But right now, today, 2022, what do you think your purpose is for being here? Wow, the first thing that came to my mind is example. Mm. Just be an example. Just be. Mm. And, you know. And let that be. Just, just, just be. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. let that be. And let that be enough. Yes, that yeah. is enough. Mm. Who Who's given you the best life advice ever? I know you probably have so many because <laughs> you know a lot of great people and people love you. So, but the first thing that comes to you. The first thing, and I'll, oh, I always say this Shaka Khan. Really? She said, get out of your own way. So my, I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? When I was younger, I was like, what yeah. does that mean? Stop being your worst enemy. Mm. You know, vocally, um, business-wise, like, stop being afraid of you. Mm. Move, move, scared Mary, so Mary can get through here. Mm -hmm. That's that's how I took it. Mm -hmm. Now, it might, for, for, you know, people have different ways they, you know, comprehend things. But for me, it was like, stop being afraid of you. Mm. Yeah, Shaka. <laughs> <laughs> and Shaka, depending on what day you get her, she could be. <laughs> she, could she, be was nice she was nice that day. She was nice that day. She's always nice. Oh, no, but she's always nice. <laughs> but, you know, but she's feisty. She's Shaka Khan. She should be. Super feisty. So there's this quote from Steve Jobs. Well, this, it, it, he wrote it in first person. If to, he asked him that, himself this all the time. If today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? He would mm. ask himself no. that every day. No. Mm -hmm. So what would you have done today? If today was the last day, I would be home. You wouldn't be here with me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, I knew If I knew this was it, I'd be yeah. home praying. I'd yeah. be home quiet. Mm. Just get myself centered, get my spirit centered, so we can transition. Mm. The the hell with all this. Yeah. This is nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, there's no cameras. There's nobody watching. It's you and God, right? Me and God, and and getting ready to, you know, spirit man transition. 
do you have something that you believe? What do you believe happens when we're not here anymore? I have no idea. Hmm. I, I... Never thought about it? I thought this. I, I was watching this, um, I'll make it short, uh, yeah, okay. this documentary on these aliens, right? We talked about that. Uh, <laughs> Tell me about the aliens. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. I had the lights on in the daytime mm -hmm. after it went off. And they were talking about the reptilians and the light beings and the grays and the other something else. I said, are we the light beings? Because I was, I would, we are light when we, lead, when we lead this body. So I just think of it as we are light and we're this one big light all over the world that when we start leaving our bodies, we, we, we light, we brighten up the world. But we're, we're spirit people. So imagine us doing that as spirit people, like lifting ourselves up spiritually. Mm -hmm. And then everybody becoming this big light. And that's what we're doing right now. We're being a big light to somebody at home. I hope so. Yeah. That's, so, the, that's the intention for sure. Yeah, that's how I see it. That's, that's how I see. So you see yourself right here in present time, in, in life doing that. And you see that for yourself. Yeah. I think we take it with us. I think mm -hmm. whatever we are goes with us. So this is why we got to get, get it right now. Because this is nothing. But that thing that we building up every day to have a good day is 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 got to be right to go to the right thing. Hmm. You know, I don't know what what that other world is, but you want it to be the right thing, right? You do you yes. want to go to Hawaii and live on the beach? What are you you know what I'm saying what's in your head? Yeah, I don't know yet. I have to think about that. <laughs> you have something? I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 uh. I'm not gonna tell everybody where I want to go. Cause the panties and the bras. Leave it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need my leave your panties. I need my Gucci on. underwear and Gucci <laughs> panties on. Well, I hope I have many, many years with you. And and then too. And I love you so much. You will. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I love you. This is great. That was good, right? Yes. It was so good. It's always it's always good. It's always good. Angie, you're so amazing at this. Thank you, baby. We're gonna be here when we do our things. Oh man. <laughs> Thank the, you, my love. The people we're going to... Oh, Eddie always getting flowers from me. <laughs> yeah. When I first met you at the radio station, you, like, women was always funny with me, you know? <laughs> and when I met you, I was like, I love her. I, I never, you know, women, I, they always be on some whatever. <laughs> that was then, you know, now I, I can handle it better. But you was just on my team. And I was like, she's so pretty and, 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 and mean and all that shit at the same time. <laughs> That mean. fucking eyebrow. You used to always that, say that I was damn mean. vain. I was like, look at her vein in her eyebrow. She's <laughs> fucking dog mean. But you were so nice to me. And and, so and, and you had my back and you immediately you looked like you was ready to fuck everybody up for me. I was like, <laughs> that's that's my friend. And look at look where we at. <laughs> look where we at all these years later. I'm very grateful for that, by the way. I'm very grateful for that.